Chick-fil-A. What is up guys? Today we are doing a video on Chick-fil-A. Now I have a little bit of like a personal connection with this because Chick-fil-A was actually my first job. I started working there when I was 15 years old and worked there for the next five years and one year into college. So I have a, you know, a little bit of personal connection so I, but I've also had a lot of Chick-fil-A in my life. You know, I should look like a chicken biscuit to be honest. But what I wanted to do with this video was basically when you go to Chick-fil-A, I want you to have a good idea of like what you're going to get, maybe the nutritional value of what your favorite choices are. So I broke it up into three categories. I broke it up into great, to good, and to the save to cheat day. All right, yeah, save the cheat day. So you might want to, you know, save that for like a heavy workout or something. So let's go ahead and get started. So many options guys, there's so many options to choose from at Chick-fil-A. There's like numbers one through like eight or ten, however many, there's so many choices. So when you go here, it's like, what do you really want to get? So of course the first category is the great, which has got to be really your healthiest foods that you could possibly get at Chick-fil-A, which starting off would be the salads. Now something to keep in mind though, the healthiest salad to get is the actual, the grilled market salad i think that's what it's called the grilled market salad and that's not the cob or the south southwest both of those actually have around 450 to 500 calories which is a lot of a lot of calories for a salad um it, but the market salad which has more strawberries blueberries in it that's actually um around 300 and 350 and you also have to remember whatever dressing you get you have to really look at the back package to see how many calories they're adding on top of those calories so salads are the first option that are to help you, help you, help you, Bruh. healthiest. Number two would be um, the fruit cup for a side. So people are like, hey, should I get fries? Should I get the soup? The tortilla soup is great. I will admit this tortilla soup is great, but the best sides to get are actually two sides, which is the Greek yogurt parfait. So they actually just changed it to Greek yogurt parfait, as well as the fruit cup. Now the fruit cup actually has, um, I want to say it's 45 calories, zero grams of fat, because it's just fruit and it has like 12 grams of carbs in it. So that's actually not too bad. Like a, that fruit cup is a pretty healthy side to get, so you can't go wrong with that. Now for your good options, this is gotta be your whole grilled chicken menu. The whole grilled lineup is just perfect. So this is your grilled chicken sandwich, your wrap, the cool wrap, the uh, Chargo Club as well as the grilled nuggets. Those are going to be like your gut options. It's not going to be fried. It's not going to be in that batter and have a lot of fat, but you start getting a good source of protein um, within that. So, you know, the eight grilled nuggets you have, that's going to have less carbs, of course, because you're going to have most of the carbs in the sandwiches and as well as the wrap. So if I was to put it in order from the he like healthiest to like not necessarily non-healthy, but from the healthiest option down would pos more likely be the eight grilled nuggets the wrap, and then the uh, char grilled sandwich, and then the club. That's the type of order that I would do. They round you around, I want to say around 300 calories to maybe 350 calories for each one, which is not too bad. So keep that in mind when you just want a good option. You don't want to be super, I'm just going to be healthy. No, you're going to try to like get a, get a good mix in it. So those are going to be your good options. So now for your cheat day option. This is what I know everybody's like, oh, what is it? No, what is it? So the cheat day options, right? This is everything that's fried. So this is your chicken sandwich, your, your fried nuggets, your fried strips, your, uh, your fries. These are all those popular menu items. Now, remember, I'm not saying unhealthy. I'm just saying they're safe for your cheat day. So when you have a really hard workout, you got to really fuel your muscles afterward or try to build it up. I would, or cheat yourself, that's, these are the meals that I would focus on most likely. So the sandwich, and this is where I say comparatively to the grill, the regular fried chicken sandwich is around 450 calories, which is a lot. You know, it's almost like half of 
a thousand calories. So gotta keep that in mind. Um, so that's a higher calorie amount. The fries, uh, you know, regular number one. So you have 450 with the sandwich. The fries are 350 calories. So you're already at 800 calories already. And if you get like a Coke or something, that's an extra hundred. So you almost had a thousand calories for one meal alone. And if you're basing it off a regular 2,000 calorie, maybe 2,200 calorie um, daily ca calorie intake. You already finished half of that with one meal. And if you want to be eating throughout the day, you don't want to just suck up all the all the calories in one meal. So you got to keep that in mind um, with the number one. And then probably the, I was about to say worse. Not the worst, but the one that you have to really be cautious of. And I'm not going to lie, guys. This is my addiction. And you're talking about somebody who's like slick a little bit lactose intolerant is the milkshakes the milkshakes ah, so good i personally love the chocolate milkshake maybe sometimes putting the cookies and cream in it but i'm telling you guys that is around 500 to 600 calories right there a peach milkshake i'm pretty sure the large one it almost reaches around a thousand calories and a drink so imagine if you get a number one plus a drink getting the numbers getting up there and if you're really trying to like you know, either lose some weight, tone up. It's probably not the best thing to get, but hey, we all gotta treat ourselves. That's what I'm saying. It's my that's my main addiction. I love Chick Fil A milkshakes. I, I can't help it. Like I'll have one maybe like once or twice a month, maybe even more frequent. But it's just really you gotta be aware of that. All right, be aware of that. Now, come on. You really thought I was gonna forget the ice cream? You're like, well, no. What category is ice cream in? Ice cream is in the great category. If you don't think ice cream is great. If you don't think ice cream is great, then hey man, you don't know what you're doing with your health, okay? All right, let me be honest, let me be honest. So the ice cream is around 240 calories. It is pretty high, six grams of fat, and then 45 grams of carbs. And this is the simple carbs, so you're not the good carbs. So I'll admit it's not the per favor favorable. It's more for the heart rather than it is for the health, I would say. Um, but I love the ice cream. I get it as a nice little treat. Get the small one. You don't have to get the large. Plus, I feel like once you get the large, it's kind of like, man, there's a lot of ice cream. I got to split this with somebody anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more um, questions about different nutrition things around Chick-fil-A, feel free to comment below or email me at noahbanks at embracethehype.net. I would love to help you out. And if you guys are interested and want to know a little bit more, like some more restaurants you want me to review, feel free. Email me, put it in the comments. I want to know what I want. I, I can only make videos that you guys want to hear. So feel free to remember, email me at noahbakes at embracethehype.net or comment below. If you like this video, feel free to like or subscribe. And guys, you already know, I will see you later. Embrace the hype.